first I just want to ask, like, what are your emotions when you when you watch that? Just all the friendships that you make through sport. You know, being able to obviously compete on the field day in day out against you know the most amazing role models of women, and then be able to continue friendships along the way. And you know, Abby and I, like she said, we were complete opposites, but we're best friends at the same time. You know, she was the emotional one, the loud one, the one that was riling everybody up, and I was the one that was just settling everybody down and being composed, so we were definitely a good pair, and you know, I was blessed to be able to be with her throughout her career, and you know, just being able to know that I was able to influence all of my teammates in a positive way, and being able to support them and make them better players was, was my role. What is the responsibility like of being the leader and the captain of a national team compared to maybe being a captain of another kind of team? You're, you're dealing with a, a lot of competitive women. <laughs> Obviously, everybody wants to start, and you're in a you're on a team that is is out in the public, and everybody's a brand, and everybody wants to be the best they can be. And you know, just making sure that you're communicating and having that clear communication with these girls that it takes 23 players in this World Cup to win a World Cup, whether you're on the field or not. Anything you do on and off the field affects that emotion going into a World Cup. And you know, for me, it was just being a good listener and making sure that they realized their voices were heard throughout it because my job was to give the pulse of the team to the coach to make sure that the coach knew the emotion of the team, whether it was feeling the pressure, whether we needed a day off, whether it was we just needed a fun day together because the more you can spend off the field and unite and understand each other, and the better you're gonna be on the field because as females, Emotion is a big part of success, and when you respect your leaders and you trust your leaders, those players will play better. Now you were on the winning World Cup teams in 99 and 2015. In what ways has the sport of women's soccer changed on and off the field between those World Cups spanning 16 years? Actually, every four years, the team gets better. You know, it's a transition period of bringing young players in with veteran players so the energy is still there and you're playing on the best team in the world so every training is competitive. The training sessions are actually harder than the games itself. And there's so much competition and everybody is trying to make themselves better as well as the players around them because as you realize when you play for the best team in the world, it's not the best 11 players that start. It's the best 11 players that work together because in order to win a world championship like a Olympic gold medal or World Cup, it takes, it's a process, it's six games, it's draining, so you need those players on the field committed to each other, especially when the crowd is screaming and yelling and you can't hear each other talking, you kind of just look at each other's eyes and know the movements and know what the other players dictating by their movements. So, you know, playing in those World Cups has been tremendous, but the growth now to 2019, the technology is what helps these players become fitter and better and know how many touches they have on the ball. So after every practice, you're wearing a heart rate monitor, a GPS unit, you have a watch on, so it's tracking everything. So the fitness coach will know, hey, you gotta do extra, you gotta do less. I don't know if anybody was at the Red Bull game, but you saw some of the players running at halftime, and that's because they didn't hit their numbers, and they were not going in the second half, so they did a little extra fitness at halftime, as well as the players after the game. So everything's individualized now, in 99, we ran as a team. Everything was exactly the same. Now everything is structured to your position, your playing style, um, and getting you ready to be able to, like a Crystal Dunn running up and down the flank, where an Alex is doing short sprints. So everything is geared individually to that individual player to have the best performance she can have, which is completely different, as well as the video component of being able to see how many touches you get on the ball, where your hot spots in the field are, where you're passing the ball, more like who you connect with better, where your services are, how your services are they completed or not, how, you know, as a back, we should be 90% pass completion. Up top, you're a little bit more in the 70s, 80s, because that final pass is the hardest pass in the field. So you get to reflect back on your individual play, and I can click on just my name, and I see all my clips throughout the game, so you can become better individually. 